Kitchen 101. In this video, we'll look at popular red wines and give you the information you need to make the best selections. Red wines can be dry, semi-dry, or sweet. With dry wines, all the grape sugar has been converted to alcohol during fermentation, while a sweeter wine still has some residual sugar. Red wines can be light, medium, or full-bodied. This refers to the complexity and richness of flavors in the mouth. Cabernet Sauvignon is a drier wine available in a range of medium to full-bodied selections. Cabernet Sauvignon usually features plum, berry, warm spice, vanilla, and black pepper flavors and aromas. It pairs well with red meats such as burgers, steaks, and prime rib, as well as strong cheeses such as cheddar and gruyere. Merlots are medium to full-bodied wines that are known for being soft, ripe, and elegant, with notes of plums, berries, cocoa, and black pepper. Merlots pair well with poultry, beef, game, and pork. Malbecs feature a full body and lots of juicy fruit flavors that make them easy to drink. Malbecs go well with leaner cuts of beef and lamb, roasted pork, pasta with pesto sauces, and sharp cheddar cheeses, or even hard cheeses like Parmesan. A category that's taking the wine world by storm is blends. A red blend is essentially any domestic wine that's not made from any specified primary grape varieties. Winemakers love to blend grapes like Merlot, Cabernet, and Zinfandel. Red blends are full-bodied, round, and juicy, with an easy drinkability that pairs well with a variety of foods. Pinot Noirs are typically light to medium-bodied. They're not too dry, but certainly not sweet. Strawberry, cherry, and blackberry notes can dominate in Pinots, but herbs, mushrooms, and cinnamon profiles can also be present. Their lighter body pairs well with ethnic dishes and a variety of meats, fish, and cheeses. Dessert wines are sweet wines produced with grapes left on the vine as long as possible to optimize sugar levels. They're ideal with soft cheeses and smoked meats. They can also be paired with a dessert, or they can be the dessert. Finally, when storing red wines, the ideal temperature is around 55 degrees. Keep them away from light and tilt them on their sides to keep the corks from drying out. Serve the wines at just below room temperature. And of course, as with all alcohol, please enjoy your red wines responsibly. See you next time.